Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this new tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use the MIT App Inventor to create a Bluetooth app that controls the built-in LED of the ESP32 microcontroller. Of course, you could apply the same process for an Arduino Uno. This comes with Bluetooth built-in. I can turn on and off the built-in LED. Of course, we're gonna create more apps later on. And without any further ado, let's dive right into it. So this is going to be a beginner tutorial on how to use this MIT App Inventor tool. You could go to their website, the link is under the description of this video. And let's start by creating our first app using Create Apps. For the first time you have to create an account using an email and password, and the steps are really simple. We have this welcome screen, we can hit continue. You could check out one of these tutorials to learn more about this app, but I'm going to show you how to create it from scratch using the start new project button or you could go to projects and start new project let's give it a name like LED Bluetooth control then let's hit OK as you can see we have a smartphone that we can use for testing so this tool allows you to create apps very easily by dragging and dropping some elements we have the designer that allows you to design your app by adding buttons or any kind of UI elements and the second part is called the blocks and it's the logic of our app for example when we press the on button we are going to send the value 1 to turn the LED on we have to implement this logic under this section by dragging and dropping some blocks normally we start by designing the app and to arrange the buttons horizontally we have to add in a layout like horizontal arrangement by dragging and dropping this element to the screen and on the right hand, we have the components that we add under the screen, like this horizontal arrangement. When you select it, you will find some properties that we can change to customize the app, like the background color. You can pick up any of these colors. Let's use gray. The width, it is set to automatic, but I'm gonna use fill parent. For the height, I will use 60 pixels and hit OK, or maybe 70 is better. Next, I will add a second arrangement so that we can put the on and the off buttons by dragging the horizontal arrangement under this screen. Then under properties, I will use 70 as the height and fill parent for the width. Next, I'm gonna add two buttons using the user interface. And I think you guess it by dragging this button object. And let's add another one. The same thing, we can select the button and customize it from the properties window like the background color. I'm gonna use a green color for the on button. Let's set the text on and hit enter. Let's use 70 pixels for the height and 150 pixels for the width. Or we can make it fill parent. Let's make the text bigger. I highly recommend you to play around with these properties to customize your app. Now we want to apply the same changes to the second one. For the width, I have used it fill parent. And I'm gonna stick with that. I think it feels better. But the most important part of our app is the connection part. We need to take in a list picker that allows you to pick up one of the Bluetooth devices and gets connected to it. From the user interface, we have this list picker. We can drag it. Last but not least, I will add a simple text that allows you to check whether we are connected to the Bluetooth module or not and the component is called label. Let's drag it under this arrangement and change the text to not connected by default. Now we can move on to the logic of our app, like setting the Bluetooth devices list when we press this button and to be able to use the Bluetooth functionalities like connecting to a Bluetooth device, we need to add another component which is listed under connectivity and it is the Bluetooth client. You simply have to drag it under the screen, which is an invisible component that allows you to use the Bluetooth functionalities on our phone. Then we can move to the blocks section and to get the list of paired devices, we can go to the left side and select the Bluetooth client that is responsible for that. We have different blocks that we can use. Let's scroll down. And the block that we need is Bluetooth client addresses and names. Let's drag it like this. We need to display these under the list picker by selecting list picker. 
and we're gonna do that before picking so let's drag it and this is called an event that raises when the list picker is clicked in such case we have to display the addresses and names so this is related to our list picker and the block that we're gonna use is set list picker elements to to the bluetooth client addresses and names and once we pick up one of these elements using list picker and after picking we use the bluetooth client component and the block that we're gonna need is connect address from the list picker selection using the list picker selection you see that we can not put it inside the after picking event basically it returns true or false if the connection is done successfully it returns true otherwise it returns false that's why we have to add some kind of logic under the control section I'm gonna use the if else statement and put it inside this so if the Bluetooth client gets connected to the list picker in such case we can change the text or the label that we have added to the text connected the same thing we have to select the element label and drag in the set label text to to the text connected successfully or simply connected and if for some reasons it doesn't connect successfully we can change the text not connected or failed to do that we have to select this label again and drag in the text or you could easily duplicate this block using right click and duplicate then we can use it under the else this time we use not connected now that we have done the most difficult part which is the connection part we can move on to the logic of our buttons whenever we click on the on button I'm gonna send the string 1 to turn the LED on the same thing we have to select the component that we're gonna work on and it is the on button and use the event button 1 click in such case we will use the Bluetooth client to send a message like sending a text let's use it and drag in the text block and here you could pass in anything you want I will simply send the character 1 the only problem with this is that whenever we click the button and we are not connected to a Bluetooth device our app will call this block that will send the text we need to check whether we are connected or not using the control block if if the Bluetooth client is connected in such case we can call the Bluetooth client to send the message 1 and all of this is done whenever we activate the event click to save some time I'm not going to drag and drop these blocks again for our second button I will simply right click and duplicate it then change the button to button 2 and the text to 0 each time we press the off button and that's pretty much it we have created this Bluetooth app by simply dragging and dropping these blocks to be able to install this app we need to extract the apk file using build then android app apk once it's done we can download the apk file using this button then i'm gonna plug in my smartphone using the usb cable so that we can copy and paste the apk file and let's right click copy and paste it outside I will go to the files and here is the app we have the same name LED Bluetooth control and hit install we have this little warning because we haven't installed this app from Google Play I know it is safe so let's hit install anyway then open it up and there you go we have our app we can select the Bluetooth device from this list before that make sure to open up Bluetooth and that allows you to see the paired devices from this list before we do that we need to program the ESP32 board to control its built-in LED that is connected to the pin number 2 on top I have included the library that we use with an ESP32 microcontroller then I have created this Bluetooth serial object for an Arduino board the built-in LED is connected to the pin 13 under the setup function I have used it serial bt.begin which takes in the name of the Bluetooth device that we're gonna see from the list then we have to set our LED pin to be an output pin so that we can turn it on and off 
under the loop function, which is called over and over again. We can check if we have received a character or a string from the Bluetooth app. In such case, we can read it using serialbt.read. And finally, we can check if it's 1, we turn the LED on. And if it's 0, we turn it off. I'm going to upload this to my ESP32 microcontroller using the upload button. If you don't know, for an ESP32 microcontroller, you have to hold down the boot key. And once it's done, we can open up the app again. Make sure to open up Bluetooth and pair your device with the ESP32 Bluetooth module so that we can pick it up from this list. And here it is. Let's select it. And there you go, we have the message connected. Now we can turn on and off the built-in LED, which is blue. So I think that's pretty much it, guys, for this video. I hope you like it. If you have any question or comment about this project, make sure to write it under the comment section down below. And I will see you in the next one.